Hello guys, welcome to Wire Network. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of setting up a WireGuard VPN on an OpenSense firewall. WireGuard is a lightweight, fast, and modern VPN protocol that provides secure connectivity between devices. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to setting up WireGuard on OpenSense firewall. Before we start, access your OpenSense firewall via web browser. Next, log in with your admin credentials. Step 1. Configure the WireGuard instance. Go to VPN, click WireGuard then click Instances. Click plus to add a new instance configuration. Set the name of the instance. Next, press the cogwheel button to auto-generate new public keys. Next, set the WireGuard listen port. Next, set the tunnel IP address for WireGuard. Save the instance configuration. Step 2. Configure the client peer. Go to peer tab. Click plus to add a new peer configuration. Next, set the name of the client peer. Next, insert the public key from the client. Launch the WireGuard on your PC, copy the public key then paste it on peer configuration. Click the Add Tunnel, then select Add Empty Tunnel. Next, set the name of the tunnel, then copy it public key. Next, Set the allowed IPs, it should be slash 30 to within the subnet configured on the WireGuard instance. Next, set the endpoint address. Next, set the WireGuard endpoint port. Next, select WireGuard instance you created in step 1. Set the keep alive interval to 25. Save the peer configuration. Once the peer configuration is finished, enable WireGuard. Step 3. Assign an interface to WireGuard. Go to Interfaces then click to Assignments. Under the Assign New Interface section, select WireGuard Interface then click Add button. Click Save button. After assign WireGuard interface, go to WireGuard interface. Next, check the Enable interface and Prevent interface removal then click Save button. Click Apply changes. Step 4. Create firewall rules for WAN. Go to Firewall Rules WAN. Click plus to add a new rule. Set the action to pass. Set the interface to WAN. Set the protocol to UDP dot.
set the source to any, set the destination to WAN address, set the destination port range to WireGuard port, default 51820, Next, set the description then click the save button. Click apply changes. Step 5. Create firewall rules for WireGuard interface. Go to OPT1 WireGuard interface. Click plus to add a new rule. Next, set the action to pass. Set the interface to WireGuard. Set the protocol to any. Set the source to WireGuard net. Set the destination to any then click save button. Click apply changes. Step 6. Create normalization rules. Go to firewall settings, normalization. Press to create one new normalization rule. Next. Set the interface to WireGuard. Next, set the max MSS to 1380 then click Save button. Click Apply Changes. Step 7. Configure the WireGuard client on Windows PC. First, assign an IP address to WireGuard client. Next, create a peer section. Next, copy the public key from the instance configuration on OPNSense. Next, set the allow address. Enter IP address subnet in allow IP field which you want to access remotely. Next, set the endpoint address with port number. Next, set the keep alive interval. Click the Save button. I am now connecting the computer to the mobile network so that we can test the VPN connection to the outside network. After connecting computer to mobile network, ping the OPNSense local IP. Next, activate the WireGuard client. 